You know, you can have a bad day. You can have, look, we've all done this. I've done this. You can have a bad day and go through the motion soul winning. You can go out there. And by the way, by the way, here's another good one for you. My wife and I were actually just talking about this on Sunday. Because, you know, every now and then, you'll have an amazing day soul winning. And here's the thing. When you least want to go, and you just decide, you know what? I just, I didn't really feel the greatest on Sunday morning. I was laying down, and I was just like, oh, man. I don't know if I was just really tired or what was going on. And I remember I was laying in my suit in the bedroom, and I was just laying on the floor. My wife came in, and that's a weird thing to see. I'm all ready to go, and I'm just laying on the floor. She's like, what's going on? I'm like, I don't know, nothing. I don't think I feel good. And I'm like, she's like, what, really? I'm like, no, I feel fine. And I just got up. And guess what? Had the most amazing day soul winning. Like amazing things, that happens all the time. It's not just me. It's, oh, you're the pastor. No, it has nothing to do with me. It's just when you just do what you're supposed to do. So you know what? I kind of started out soul winning on Sunday. I shouldn't confess all these things to you. I started out soul winning on Sunday, just kind of going through the motions. And, and all of a sudden, I, I met a guy, and I met this blind guy. Literally, the first blind guy I ever got saved. I didn't even see him for three quarters of the gospel presentation. I didn't even see him. I'm talking to him through one of those metal doors with the holes where they can see you, but you can't see them. Brilliant invention. And I'm sitting there, and I'm giving the gospel to this guy, and he was super interested from the beginning. He's blind as a bat. He's blind. He's blind. He told me that. And I'm, I, he told me right at the beginning. He's, I'm like, I could show you from the Bible. He says, well, I can't see the Bible because I'm blind. I said, well, I said, if you'll trust me, if you'll trust me, I can read the words of the Bible to you. And I can explain. He had all kinds of questions. He told me before I even started giving him the gospel, he said, I got all kinds of questions. My brother-in-law and we're talking to some, this Baptist priest, he called him, I don't know what that is. But he said, we got all kinds of questions about the Bible and we're trying to figure things out. And I'm like, what well, do you know about heaven and all this? He's like, I don't really know, but I have lots of questions. I was like, well, I can show you. I'm blind, he said. And I said, well, if you will trust me to read the words to you that they are the, the words of the Bible, I will explain all your questions and I will show you how you can get to heaven. And I couldn't even see him. And three quarters of the way through the gospel, I could just see it right there. I could just see he just understood. I couldn't even see him. I couldn't even see him. And then, like, it was like two minutes after, I, 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 you can see that. You know what I'm talking about? When you're giving the gospel to somebody and they just get it. And you know, you, okay, now we're, now we're moving in the gospel. And he gets it, and then he opens the door, and I see him. Look, that is why you get up and go. Adopt somebody this year. Take personal interest in somebody this year. Go when you don't want to go this year and see what God does through you.